it's definitely a great opportunity if you're not ready to hire that full admin. What yep. an opportunity to have a virtual professional um, to help you start your business and just see how much that leverage can, can open doors for you. Hey everybody, it's Daniel Ramsey. And if you're just joining us now, we've got the special pleasure of talking to somebody who's really been involved deep in building huge real estate teams, as well as working with virtual assistants. Caitlin, I'm so thrilled to have you here today. So thank you for joining. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, well, we're, we're gonna talk because you're the director of client care. I want you to pick Caitlin's brain and Chris's because we're gonna bring her on in just two seconds. Um, but I, before we do, I just want to make sure um, we kind of explain how you believe the best, the best practices working with a virtual assistant when you're a big, huge team with multiple locations like you guys. So let's, let's dive into that question and then we'll bring Chris on. Okay. Well, the biggest part of it is Chris is part of our team. She is a employee just like the rest of our admins in the sense yep. of, you know, we, we treat her with the same amount of respect. We provide her the same amount of training opportunities. You know, I know mods also provides her with that opportunity. Um, but we also take it upon ourselves to make sure that if we expect um, our, our VAs to learn something that we need to be able to provide that training and that support to help them get there. And so um, that's a, big part of it is just knowing that they're becoming part of your family. Um, and so we absolutely love that about all of our, um, our, our VPs. Um, so that's part of it. Well, you just said something that's really important to our business. It's that we succeed when our clients really have an understanding of training and leading somebody who's in a virtual space, right? So we're, we're definitely going to dive in. I want to bring um, Carissa on right now. Carissa, can you come? She's going to log in and jump on, and we're going to just do a quick interview with her. Um, and here she is. Carissa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Daniel. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting. Okay, Caitlin, take it away. This is your interview. I love it. Oh, goodness. Well, Carissa, I just want to say thank you here. I, I do my best to tell you how much I'm thankful for you on a regular basis, but you're an amazing, amazing teammate and you're, you're an amazing mom too. So there's a huge mm -hmm. shout out for that. Carissa is a very, very good mom. Um, Carissa, what would you say is one of your favorite parts of working for her group? Um, I would say the encouragement or actually you mentioned earlier the culture that we have at her group. Um, I, Really appreciate Adam saying or um, coining. I don't. I don't know if he coined that term, "failing forward," but um, I, I really embrace that because um, a lot of times we get discouraged when we uh, make mistakes, and we do make mistakes every day. But um, uh, one, I think one of my strengths is positivity. Positivity. So um, by applying "failing forward," um, I learn from my mistakes, and then I apply being positive and um, uh, trying to do something to make my actions moving forward. Um, you know, what would you tell agents out there who are considering hiring somebody like yourself as an operations leader? Cause you are a leader within the group, right? Caitlin, I mean that she's, she's, she's teaching people how to do the job. She, she's learning multiple facets of the business. Um, so what would you tell somebody who's considering hiring a virtual assistant? Like, best practices to get them up to speed? And what did you experience? Um, I think uh, the best way that um, worked for me is um, really having the system set up already. But um, if, if, if the agent or the team is still starting, starting out small, um, mm -hmm. it's really um, just working with us on a day-to-day -day basis that um, you let us know exactly what you need and um, uh, I really appreciate the trust that Caitlin and the uh, actually the whole her group has um, given, and um, uh, they really just um, outlined everything, and then they trusted me that I will follow through. And then um, uh, I also encourage VPs to be very proactive. Local. Yes, oh, uh, proactive and um, uh, telling every what uh, the people that we work with what we need, exactly what we need, and. Um, what would work because uh, uh, like was mentioned before, um, we're the one who's 
in there in the nitty gritty uh, nitty gritty every day. So um, we know what is working. We know what um, can be um, optimized more. Uh, it's really uh, transparency. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Transparency for um, the agent and the VA or the VP. Um, okay. Well, what about, um, so you started with listing management, went to transaction management. Um, what has been, and I love what you said earlier, it's good to have open communication and know what the expectation, uh, expectation is and mm -hmm. some transparency. What has been um, your favorite part about working with Caitlin, the her group? Like what has been the part that has made it wow for you? I think it really is the culture. Um, I like how everyone is so encouraging. And um, uh, Caitlin said I'm really positive, but I think everyone at her group is really positive as well. What are some of the pitfalls or mistakes, Caitlin and, and Krista, maybe you can jump in too, of working with a virtual assistant? What have you learned or what are the things that you would wanna avoid um, working with a virtual assistant so that everybody who's listening can kind of have a jump start, you know, um, on, on making this successful? So I wouldn't avoid ever working with a virtual assistant at all. Um, it has only opened up our world to more opportunity and more leverage and more growth. However, um, Carissa kind of pinned on this a little bit is, you know, if you can have your system a baseline set, um, that's really helpful in getting started because when you yeah. already know what to ex what you expect out of somebody and from there you can kind of hand it over train them and run with it and know that you have at least transferred over the information or the process that you want to work the best yeah. um realistically too you know carissa talks a lot about mistakes and failing forward and you know we none of us are perfect we all make those mistakes however it's not you have to expect that you have to be open to it especially when anyone's learning new i mean even from our operations coordinators across the country like there's always got to be a little room for error um there's very few things that can't be fixed in this industry and i think that if you can come from a place of if a mistake happens and you can teach to how to fix it um, through either, you know, learning, you know, understanding Chris's learning style. Is it a video that I need to record and send to her so she can go back and watch multiple times, but I don't have to sit there and train her on how to do it five times. Is it bullet point instructions? Really understanding their learning style can help when that mistake happens. Here, go back, watch this. I need you to ask me what questions that you have that you might not understand or that aren't clear. And right. then from there, we also don't want those mistakes to happen again. So we do set pretty high standards of that's what the fail forward is. You can fail all day long, but we don't want to constantly be making the mistake, same mistake again. Yeah. Krista, what's your answer? What, what would you want to, uh, our audience to avoid when hiring a virtual assistant? Gee, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Coming from a virtual assistant's point of view, maybe when they are really expecting us to know everything already because sometimes because yeah. sometimes you still need to um train and um really study the system but mm -hmm. um even if we do have um background from another team um sometimes the system that they work with is really um too different and um mm -hmm. it's just really um being patient and um like caitlin said um lear learning styles are very important so um caitlin what what do you think you guys are saving working with my outdesk in total oh goodness um definitely definitely a good savings there but again too it, it's we've loved my outdesk based off the the value of the candidates too yeah. and the skill set but it is it is significant cost savings it's definitely a great opportunity if you're not ready to hire that full admin what yep. an opportunity to have a virtual professional um to help you start your business and just see how much that leverage can can open doors for you. Hey, Daniel Ramsey here. Thank you so much for watching our show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, push a little button below. It's a little round thing. It's red. It says subscribe, like, give us a comment. And before you go, make sure you follow us in order to get a free copy of our award-winning international best-selling book, How to Scale Your Business. I'm Daniel Ramsey. I really, really appreciate you following us, watching today, and being a part of the Mod family.